Hi, Adam Furtado with PhotoNerdsUnite.com and today I'm going to show you how to look at the before and after of your edits inside of Lightroom. Yogi Berra once said, if you don't know where you're going, you might wind up someplace else. And for me, this quote is important because one of the most difficult things to figure out when I'm editing a photograph is, am I heading in the right direction? And one way to know whether I'm heading in the right direction or not is to take a quick look at the before and after of my edits while I'm doing the editing. And this is something that I'll do quite frequent switching back between the before and the after and getting a sense if I'm heading in the right direction or not. So in today's episode, I wanna show you a couple of ways that you can look at the before and after of your edits so that you know whether or not you're going in the right direction or not. So let's jump into Lightroom and show you what it is I'm talking about. So before I jump straight into this tip, what I wanna tell you is that typically my workspace looks like this. In other words, the panel over on the left-hand side, I usually have that closed. But for today's episode and for today's trick, I'm actually gonna leave the left-hand panel open and I'm actually gonna go into my history panel because this photograph, I've already made a bunch of changes to it, as you can see. And so right now I'm looking at the import in other words, this is the before. Before I've done any edits to this picture, this is straight out of the camera, nothing has been done. But then I went ahead and made all of these changes that you see here in the history panel. And if I click on the very last one, then I have this black and white version of the photograph in addition to all of the other changes that I've made. Now, if I wanna see the before and after of when I imported the picture to this point here, this moment in time, all I have to do is hit the backslash button and that'll show me before. And if you look up here in this left-hand corner, you'll see that it's actually telling me that it's the before. And then if I hit the backslash button one more time, it'll bring me to the after. So basically the backslash button is a toggle switch before and after, before, and after each time hitting the backslash button to give me a preview of what it looked like before any edits were made and then after all the adjustments have been made. So this is just one quick way to see the before and after. But there's another way that you could see the before and afters and it's if you hit the letter Y on your keyboard. And what this is gonna do is give me a split screen and as you can see up here, I have the before on the left hand side and the after on the right hand side. And this is a pretty cool way to be able to see a comparison of the before and after, and again, to get a sense if I'm heading in the right direction. But here's one magic trick that you may or may not know, because this why before and after, you may have used this before, but what you might not know is that you can actually change where the before is previewing to. So this is where my history panel comes into play. When I edited this picture, my after as it stands right now is a complete black and white overhaul. But before I decided to go to black and white, I was actually at a color version. If I go down here into my histories panel, you can see where I converted this photo to black and white. So if I go to the step right before it and click on it, this will actually take my photo to the color version. So if you look here on the after version, it is now a color version with some edits applied. Well, maybe I want to see this as the before so that I can compare this colored edited version to the black and white edited version. So all I'm going to do is drag this camera profile, camera standard. I'm just going to drag this point in time over to the before section and drop it here. And as you can see, that has now changed the before point to this point in time. Now what I'm gonna do is go back up to the history and go to the last edit that I did. And so now you can see that the last thing I did for the black and whites is in the after. And the before, instead of it being the before from the beginning, it's actually the before I converted it to black and white. So this was the last color adjustment that I made. I could do this for anything. I just so happens that I wanted to see the color version versus the black and white version. But if I go back to any point in time, I can make any one of these history states 
my before. So I could go to where I enabled a graduated filter and drag that to before. And here you'll see that now the before has changed. I also know that I did some split toning on this image as well. So maybe I would navigate to the section in my history panel where I would see some of the split toning adjustments that I made. Looks like that's probably somewhere up here. Here you go, edit split toning. So maybe I want to see right before I did the split toning adjustments and that would be this highlight and saturation. I could drag that over to my before and it'll show me that point in time. A good reason for doing this is because maybe that point in time was where I started to go a little bit crazy with my edits. Maybe that point in time was the perfect moment in time and then I continued editing it after the fact and maybe I screwed it all up and so I wanna go back. But a good way to tell if I screwed it up is to look at the before, compare it to the after and see whether or not I was going in the right direction or if I was veering off path into some crazy world of editing. This gives Gives you fantastic flexibility I encourage you to try it and if you look and hopefully it'll keep you in the right direction when it comes to editing that's all we have for today hopefully you like this tip if you did give it a big fat thumbs up and as always thank you so much for your support subscribe to this channel we'll have more episodes coming to you soon thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next episode